big ones. Now that's a sparrow, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Oh my God, this sparrow is just going crazy in the bird bath. Look at that house run right there on the rock. Look at him hopping around. They're going nuts in your bird. Oh, you cleaned it? And they know it's a crush, huh? I don't know. It's, it's, it's I mean, they're like having a frog. Well, good morning, YouTube. Sunday morning. Hello, Mr. Skull. And there is Marilyn hanging out there in my Marilyn Monroe um, calendar. All right, today I have got... Um, an unboxing of something that I did an alert on a few days ago and uh, picked up a few, not too many. Oh, here's a little copper skull. I did. He was a fail. And uh, it came from, uh, it came from uh, eBay, uh, Apmex, I believe, uh, $100 five ounce Libertads. Here we go. There's a couple other things here. Let's see. I just, I'm unboxing stuff as they go. These are little, um, Copper leaves that uh, Silver to Burn made for me. We're going to put these onto cigar boxes to adorn them uh, to continue to make more booty boxes. So those are very cool from Bernie. And what's this? I found uh, some of my old uh, Nuke Cola uh, bottle caps. Uh, I was making, uh, I had a run, quite a large run of Nuke uh, Cola. See of the future. So what I was doing was uh, putting, making the um, making the bottle caps uh, were part of the COA, so it would have the grams and so forth, and then it would have um, a cool bottle cap. But uh, here's a couple of my fails. <laughs> I don't know why I keep my fails. Most people melt, you know, their fails, but uh, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to uh, to melt them. Here's a few of those. So um, if you haven't seen these before, I don't have a good version handy, but um, they are, they're poured in a bottle cap and they are stamped uh, cola, uh, the currency of the apocalypse, right? <laughs> That's enough of that. Okay, so uh, on to the unboxing. Uh, okay, so oops. can you see this? Here we go, just came in the mail yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna use a knife today, although I do have 17 pair of scissors in my <laughs> in my bench here. But we're just gonna slice this one with a little box. So it comes with that inside the box. I don't see a receipt handy. So uh, let's just uh, get this open here. I will use a pair of scissors to open this. 15 ounces of Mexican silver. Um, what are these? These are about 450 over spot, um, but they are some of the most uh, beautiful five ounce coins you will ever see. Oh, I do have a receipt in here. Um, so uh, this did come from Apmex. The eBay price uh, was 10280 when I bought these and when I did the alert for you guys. And uh, after credit card rebates, you know, pretty close to 100 bucks. Um, these are the BU Libertads, but to my great delight, they've come in capsules. Oh, man, normally those come in flips. These capsules are, um, I think they're over a dollar a piece. So uh, there is one. There is two. There is three ringy dingies. Um, I haven't seen a deal that good on five ounce libs for four years. Um, let's go ahead and bust one of these out of here. Well, you know, actually, I don't need to. You can probably get the detail on that right through the plastic. Um, that might be upside down. Hold on. Here we go. These are in beautiful uh, condition. They're definitely BU, uncirculated, nice, fresh, shiny capsule. 
and there are the um, the different uh, what are these the different flags of Mexico each one is a different image of uh, of the uh, eagle and the snake I believe very pretty but uh, these are 2018s and um, 2018s now I'm told the mintage is a little high is higher for 2018 it is going to be a high mintage year but that is based on the advanced um, information uh, the advanced release obviously 2018 we're still in the middle of it so uh, the US mint has been I'm sorry the Mexican mint has been um, extremely unreliable when it comes to mintages both too high and too low disclosures so uh, I don't know for sure that it's going to be a high mintage year. I'm still skeptical. But at $100 a coin, all right, a lot of people are buying uh, bullion right now um, because spot is low, and I think that is, uh, that is the conventional wisdom to buy bullion when spot is low. I have a completely different strategy, um, and this is because I like to resell coins. But when you can get a highly popular um, collector coin, a semi-numismatic, for a few dollars over spot, and, and, and grant you this was, you know, like 450 over spot, but if you can get um, kooks, koalas, libertads, um, and, and especially, you know, lunars, uh, low, low mintage uh, coins, um, you know, for a few dollars over spot, I would rather buy those, okay? Because when spot recovers and uh, when the collector market recovers, and it will, um, you're going to make so much money on those coins. So uh, these five ounce Libertads, the ones I bought in 2015 or 2014, um, for 100 bucks each, uh, I sold so many of those between 175 to $100. Uh, to to uh, two hundred dollars, so uh, you know the the profits are there on the collector coin. So if if bullion goes up a couple dollars, three dollars, that's fine. But if you um, if you can double your money on a collector coin, I would rather be prepared to do that. Um, again, I'm thinking uh, long term, right? I'm not thinking short term. I'm thinking long term for semi numismatics, and hopefully the collector market does come back. It will, I think. Right, um, people collect coins, but uh, when nobody's buying, nobody wants to buy, and uh, when everybody's buying, everybody wants to buy. It's just human nature. So um, anyway, this would be my preferred kind of a purchase uh, in a crashing spot market. Um, but there's nothing wrong with buying bullion as well. Um, but uh, anyway, I look for collector coins that uh, they've thrown the baby out with the bathwater when you see hundred dollar uh, five ounce Libertads. Right, baby's been thrown completely out the window. Beautiful baby with a nice, you know, um, a capsule as well. That's a dollar. So I'd I'd call this three fifty over spot, considering I got a brand new spanking new capsule. All right, that's what I have today, and uh, I'll be back at you later with more information. Remember to click that bell button if you want to be notified about the U.S. Mint uh, San Francisco reverse proof set tomorrow before it comes out. Um, you definitely. Uh, Want to take a look at that? Okay, guys. See you.